So when it comes to scholarships, just about everyone wants to get that one scholarship that just so happens to be a full ride, meaning you go to school for free. Well, that is besides me because had I got a full ride right out of high school, I wouldn't have nearly as much expertise that I do about scholarships and I wouldn't have started my channel and all the other things that I do relating to this that have helped people win well over a million dollars in scholarships. So thank you, the universe, for not giving me my education for free right off the bat. Anyways, the likeliness of you getting a full ride scholarship is actually very, very slim. It is estimated that within the US, about 20,000 students are awarded full ride scholarships. However, there are about 20 million college students per year. So that means that literally only 1% or one in 1,000 students will receive a full ride. And typically those full ride scholarships are given to students who have a good mixture of one, very, very high academic achievements like nearly or actually perfect test scores, or perhaps they're valedictorian or salutatorian of their class, Two, those who are in sports or the arts who are ranked highly, not just in their school, but within the entire state or have national recognized credentials. Three, those with super amounts of leadership positions and community service. And I'm talking about like perhaps they had five to 10 leadership positions while in high school, or perhaps they even started their own business or nonprofit at a young age. Or four, those students who get full ride scholarships may have some connections, such as how some high schools or organizations are sponsored and partnered with universities or private organizations and will award several students each year from that establishment a full ride scholarship. So with that all being said, do not be discouraged. It is still possible for you to get a full ride scholarship. You just have to play your cards right. And the earlier you play and the more you play, meaning the earlier you apply and the more you apply, the more likely you will receive a full ride scholarship or perhaps several scholarships that add up to being a full ride. Have you ever heard of those stories of students receiving hundreds of thousands, if not millions in scholarship money? Well, more than likely, these students weren't just applying for one or two schools. They applied for as many as they possibly could. They also didn't just apply for financial aid from Ivy Leagues or other prestigious and private schools. They also applied to state schools, both within their given state as well as out of their state. They didn't just apply for national scholarships, but they also applied for all types of scholarships, especially local ones. They applied for the FAFSA or similar applications for other countries as soon as it opened and already had their paperwork organized, unlike other students who were still trying to figure out what their password was just to log in. I was that student. They studied for tests like the ACTs and the SATs, and if they didn't get their desired score, they took it again until they got a score that would get them more scholarship money. And to speed up their process for finding financial aid to fund their education, they probably use websites like the Common App to apply for multiple schools and their scholarships at the same exact time with the same exact application. They probably even use similar applications specific to their state, such as where I am from, Texas, which has Apply Texas for students to be able to apply for as many universities within Texas with the same application. They were organized and focused before most other students would be. With high school seniors in particular, senioritis tends to kick in and so they lose motivation or they get too preoccupied prepping for their graduation party or what they'll wear to prom. And then before they know it, they did little to no planning on their future in college and their career because they were too focused on their life in high school. As young people, we tend to not prioritize certain things because a lot of us have grown up extremely dependent on our parents or guardians to take care of everything for us. From my years of research, I have found that most full ride scholarships have deadlines anywhere between like August to early December. In my case, I didn't start seriously applying for scholarships till around my spring semester of my senior year of high school between February and May. At that point in my life, I was too focused on marching band. It was a state competition year and I went to a high school that always ranked really high in the state contest for like 40 years straight. So there was a lot of stress and a lot of high expectations to practice and perfect our marching show for hours. So for me at that point in time, college and scholarships were the last thing on my mind. Had I actually dedicated time to applying for scholarships and applying for more schools, there's no doubt in my mind that I would have gotten a full ride scholarship. Scholarships are about timing. 
They are about being organized and they are about strategic communication, which I will go into further details later on in this course. Hey guys, brief intermission here. For more scholarship help, consider joining the free scholarship advising group chat I have. It's on the GroupMe and Slack apps. All you have to do is fill out this forum and you will gain access to the chat links. Also, I wrote an entire book that details my techniques to winning scholarships called The Scholarship Algorithm. I also have another book called School Code that details how to be academically, mentally, and financially successful in high school and college. And this is a great book to pair with my scholarship book since many scholarships are partially dependent on academics and it details other ways to save and make money while in school. You can even preview both books on my website. My YouTube channel only details like 10% of what I know about scholarships, whereas my book and especially the course that this particular video is from detail all of what I know. So consider buying it. Think of it as just as essential or even more important than expensive college textbooks that you probably will only need for one year or one semester. This book and this course will instead be beneficial to you your entire academic career, greatly increasing your chances of actually winning scholarships by anywhere from five times more with a book to 10 times more with a course. So many people go about the scholarship process wrong in the beginning stages. The book and the course cover what not to do so that you are not wasting your time and what you should start doing so that you can see faster results. And for those wondering, the advice in my course and my book are both universal to any student. Whether you're still in high school, a current college student, international, grad school, med school, law school, you name it. When I was creating these things, I made sure that the advice was actionable for any type of student, no matter where they're from or what their study concentration is. Okay, so that's it. Now back to the main video. Don't just apply for scholarships that offer a full ride or ones that are like $10,000 or more. Apply for smaller scholarships. The very first scholarship that I ever won, which also happened to be the first one I ever applied to, was only $500. It may be small, but hey, that amount of money can really help you out if you need things like textbooks or just like some meals for the day. The smaller the scholarship, the more likely you will win because they are less competitive. Whereas the bigger the scholarship, the less likely you will win because they tend to be more competitive. To add on to that, you are more likely to be awarded a scholarship if it requires more paperwork to get done. If the process is more tedious and time consuming, Consuming, a lot of people may be dissuaded from even applying in the first place, which means that that scholarship will be somewhat less competitive and you would be more likely to win. And the same can be said for job or internship applications. I have heard so many times of where people say that they're job hunting and then they finally come across a job that they want to get, but then they see how tedious and time consuming the actual paperwork is, so they end up not even applying in the first place. And I had a similar situation of where I nearly didn't apply for this internship through the National Association of Black Journalists because the paperwork was so extensive. Like I was this close to clicking out of the online portal and not applying. But then I ended up actually getting selected for that opportunity, which was all expenses paid in Washington DC for an entire week. However, of course, uh, COVID-19 ended up canceling my summer plans for that, as well as another internship that was all expenses paid, this time in New York, working for CBS at the national level. So both of those were canceled, but hey, even though that happened, had that not happened, I probably wouldn't have had all the time that I have right now to create this course and educate you about scholarships. So I just like to think that everything happens for a reason. I gotta look at the bright side of things. Anyways, to conclude this video, I will stress once again, apply for as many scholarships as you possibly can. Don't just stop at five or 10 applications. It may take 25 or even 100 applications. Think of this as a part-time job of which you will dedicate anywhere from one to four hours per application. Let's say that you need $10,000 to cover your tuition. If you work for that money by a job that pays you $10 an hour, it will take you 1,000 hours to save that. Whereas if you apply for, let's say, 10 scholarships and you end up winning three of them worth $1,000, $3,000, and $6,000, and for each application you only spent one hour, two hours, and three hours for a total of five hours, therefore essentially you were just paid $2,000 per hour spent applying. So which will it be? $2,000 per hour for five hours spent to get $10,000 in scholarships, or working minimum wage for $10 per hour for 1,000 hours total to finally save up $10,000. Discipline yourself to get used to the process and set time aside to keep applying. 
Now we are finally at the end of this video. This video was just one of many in an online course that I instruct of where I go heavy into detail about all my techniques to winning so many scholarships for myself and even more for students across the globe from many different study concentrations. It details researching scholarships you're more likely to win, scholarships to avoid applying for, to going about the scholarship application process the right way from the very beginning. It even shows and thoroughly analyzes several of my winning scholarship applications from local to national scholarships to high school to current college student scholarships. So if you as a student or perhaps you're watching this video as a parent or an educator, consider enrolling yourself or your student in this online course. And if you're not quite sure if you want to enroll in the online course, consider getting my book first. You have the option to getting the entire book or by certain parts or chapters that you want to improve on for your process. Either way, you will be much more likely to win scholarships. And if you decide to buy both books as a bundle, you automatically get $10 off. Anyways, thank you so much for watching my video. Feel free to like, subscribe, and comment down below if this video was at all helpful to you. And of course, if you happen to win a scholarship thanks to the advice in my videos or through my book, through the course, feel free to email me or leave a comment in the comment section down below because I love to hear all the success stories that I hear from students across the globe. Thank you.